All right, guys, time is now uh, a little bit late, I'm patiently waiting, but this is the official unboxing and I'm doing an outdoor, it's such a beautiful day, the sun's going down here. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get it open and see what it is. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the warranty card. That slips out already. And he numbered it 86. So that was the year I was born. Uh, maybe that's why it took a little bit longer as I requested a, uh, a number that was very special to me. And so thank you very much, Elshan, for doing that. It's worth the wait. Let's see what the dial looks like. There's the nice case. Oh yeah. Now that is gorgeous. Let's see if I can get some better lighting here, just in my backyard. And I think the ice cream man is just around the corner. I can hear him. But yeah, guys and girls of the Zelos Timekeepers Facebook group. I know I'm late to the party, but take a look at that dial. I know how most of you uh, like seeing them under natural light. So I figured I'd do a unboxing outdoor. Woo! That is beautiful, that side profile. The clarity, the legibility. Those beautiful hands. I very much like the fact that he went with a solid yellow hand on this. All, the whole thing is solid. Yep. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We also have the spearfish. We have the Comet. So just a quick, I know I said unboxing, but just a quick comparison here. The sun's going down a little bit faster than I wanted. There's the black tip. And I probably should have had this ready, but just give me a quick moment. Here's the Mako. And the wife's, she had to take it off because I said I was doing this video. <laughs> the wife's swordfish. So there it is. This current state of the madness. Also looking for that titanium hammerhead coming out soon. Well, I'm very happy with this dial so far. That one nice big green stripe in the middle is actually really nice. The other, the other green dials are be the other green stripes are beautiful as well. Beautiful clasp. I'm excited to use this. The first time I'm going to use this one because I believe the latest out of all this grouping. The black tip and the spearfish have the same one. This is obviously the, your standard micro adjust. And I think, yeah, other than the newest one, I think the swordfish was the latest model clasp, which it kind of had that design here, which I know some people didn't mind, some people didn't like. For my wife, it doesn't really matter. She kind of keeps it here where it's kind of hidden, maybe a little bit out. So I'm excited about that class, but I just gotta keep staring at this dial. 
Just trying to get some light shots for everyone. That domed crystal is absolutely stunning. Almost side profile readability. Very nice bezel. Very nice and grippy. You can hear the ball bearings moving nicely. Very, very nice. It's about time we get to this plastic. What do you guys think? Should I keep the one on the clasp? Should I keep it on? It's coming off. What a clasp. Wow. So I think you... Pull out, Let's dig out this plastic. So this came three days early. Scheduled for the 29th. Oh, look at that micro adjust, wow. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, so this came, it was scheduled for the 29th, but uh, it came today, three days early. That's fantastic. That is amazing. All right, let's get it on wrist. Six and three quarter inch. And that's how it wears. And I believe it's perfect. Really nice, very well done. Very happy with it so far. Finally got the other Mako in. Just stunning. I actually don't know which one I like better. Like they're all just so nice. They're all just so different. I'm glad I have a bronze. Kind of bummed out about my titanium one, but got a bronze, got some stainless steel, got some hardened coating, got the Comet. There's a 38 versus 40. I actually don't mind. This is this is gonna be really nice wrist presence. It's just really nice on wrist. Beautiful. Love the bevels. Love love the edges. The chamfers. Then check the back. So timekeepers edition. Zelos Mako GMT number 86. That's a special one. All right, just about to wrap it up. We got 10 minutes. Here's the nice cushion case. Let's see if it fits one that's already sized for my wrist. Oh yeah, they are a bit stiff. Let's see if it fits. Uh, could happen, could happen, not gonna happen. Really gotta squish them in. But I think people have been working them in. It's already kind of getting creased. 
Let's see if it fits one with the strap. This is gonna be tight. Keep it clean, keep it clean. All right, so it fits nicely with the strap. I think I'll just keep these squished. I'll get some elastic bands. I think that's what people have been doing. Squish them, open them. All right, well, there's the video. There's the live outside unboxing. Caught it before the sun completely hit the fence and went down. I think it's behind some trees right now. And we'll wrap it up there. I'll see you guys in the next one.